Good morning and welcome back to Kirkstone. Well, we have a box here which has once contained a pair of size 8 shoes, but that looks like a very big 8, doesn't it? Well, that's not really that important. What's more important is there are more deliveries in the in tray. So let's have a look at what Mr. Postman has delivered. It's a good strong box, I'll keep that. Right, so it's nicely packed. Let's pad things out. But this is not padding, this is plantage. Well, this is pertinent and germane, relevant and cogent, because the first plant we've opened is a fabulous little Sansevieria fishery. So we've now worked out that despite the misleading postcode, this is from my brilliant friend Sans Ao, a specialist Sansevieri grower from Wales. And I do have a little Adramiscus, Adramiscus, it's a hell of a jump from Sansevieri to Adramiscus, a little Sansevieri fishery. And after the last video, I was contacted by a number of people saying they've been looking for this plant for ages and they couldn't find it anywhere. Would it be any way possible for me to get them one? And this is what I have done. So this was the last Sansevieria fishery that Al had. And uh, it is going into that position. Now you will remember, I'm sure, that Sans, or Al I should really say, is downsizing his collection. And he's been collecting Sans. In fact, he's one of the first of the big Sansevieria collectors long before they were fashionable and you never saw all these rarer um, tropical species because what you saw everywhere and everywhere was uh, Sansevieria uh, trifasciata laurentii and to a lesser extent Harnii in people's houses. It was never a subject that the inverted commas serious cactus and succulent grower would grow. That one is a very small Sansevieria Francischii, probably, but it may be a hybrid with Francischii. Al, Al was quite uh, um, honest when he said, I'm pretty certain it's uh, Francischii, but not 100% certain. But it looks like Francischii, so to all, to all intents and purposes, it is Sansevieria Francischii. Next one is a lovely plant. It really, really grows into quite a spectacular plant. And this is a very succulent Sansevieria called Pawelii. Okay, so all of these plants are quite small, which is good because 
bit of a personal prejudice here. Sometimes when you see older uh, specimen, inverted commas, Sansevieria's, they're actually quite misshapen because they've been grown quite hard, they have one or two leaves and uh, they've generally had a hard life which probably replicates very much what they would uh, endure in, uh, in the South uh, African, sort of East African, Tropical African area going from Somalia down towards Mozambique on the eastern coast of the African continent but I prefer plants like this which are in between lush and hard kind of average looking and because they're young they will grow in the caring environs of the Kirkstone greenhouse into specimen plants one hopes. So this is uh, Sansevieria powellii. I want to do some research on spoon leaved Sansevieria when I finish talking to you. Then there were three Rosetti forms. There was this uh, this little Franciscii. Again, it's got that usual um, snake plant or dragon plant a variegation, the grey leading into the into the green. And then the, the second of the, Ros the Rosetti forms from Francisci was this fishery, which is the second fishery in the collection. This one's uh, slightly smaller, but I, I like the fact that this hasn't been a cutting, it hasn't come off a rhizome. You can actually see the cordex there, and that's, uh, that's the plant in its entirety. This is, this is all that there has ever been, and I like that. I like the fact that it's coming into the, into the Sansevieria collection in its entirety. It's not leaving part of itself behind. Okay, so that was Sansevieria in the label, Sansevieria fishery. And then the final Rosetti form was this very, very nice Powellii. And again, this is a, as a complete plant. This is the plant. It hasn't been a, an extension from somewhere else or a runner. And then finally we have this lovely Tylacodon and this is the rare Tylacodon Pearsonii and I don't make any apologies for including this because it comes from a very very similar place and similar environment in terms of aridity to the Sansevierias I've shown you and also because it serves in its way as an introduction into the Tylacodon and Cotyledon videos which will follow shortly. But that wasn't a deliberate ploy, it's just what, uh, what actually happened when I opened the box. Okay, so that's it for now. The next time you see these will be when they're all potted up. And for now, I shall leave you with yet another flying overview of absolutely stunning, and I mean stunning, Sansevierias from Sans Al. They really are absolutely exquisite little tropical gems and I love them. I love Sansevierias and I love Jaceina. Absolutely gorgeous plants. Okay, so it's goodbye from Al, Sans Al, it's goodbye from the Sansevierias and it's goodbye from Kirkstone.
are. There's the first three little uh, Rosetti form Sansevierias from Sans Al. The first one is that absolutely uh, fabulous thick leaved Sansevieria. Can you see the label there? Pawelli Eye. Starting to get some nice uh, crenellations on the leaves there. I hope you can see the, the waves which are forming on the sides of the leaves. So the leaves actually come out quite straight and then they become crenellate with age. And then the second one of the triumvirate was this uh, little Francisci eye. I'll just remind you that. Uh, Al did say probably Francischii because it uh, came from uh, Francischii parents as far as we know but for whatever reason Al decided that he was not 100% certain only about 99 so uh, as far as I'm concerned it's, it's as close to Francischii genetically as it could possibly be and, uh, and there is it and then the third of the triumvirate was this second into the collection, this little um, fishery. Okay, now this is destined, unfortunately, to go somewhere else, but not yet. So I'm going to be looking after it for a while. So I think one of the most notable things about this fishery, apart from the remarkable coloration, if I can just narrow in on that field, it's kind of like a a Goni Aloe Variegata type um, striping system there, absolutely gorgeous tropical um, stripes. It really, really gives an impression of a verdant foliage growing in the jungle, although it is a desert plant. And then there's that remarkable, I don't know how close I can get without losing focus, that remarkable red uh, bronze edging. And I think I did remark on this before on the on the other uh, section of the video on fishery that it's got that ready brown or ready bronze edging and the very very tip of the edging is actually white and that really makes the whole thing glow or as we say pop and as this is a seed grown plant not a plant which has been propagated from a uh, rhizome we can see that we do have that little cordex which I've raised very slightly so you can see the the cordex um, as the as the stem or the, the trunk as it were to the overall plant so I'll just give a kind of stationary view of fishery there because it really is a, an absolutely stunning little plant and I can't I really can't wait for it to grow and branch even if this is, is not my plant uh, the one that I have got, which is, which is more or less the same size. So that was the that was the fishery eye. That's the uh, the Francisci eye, or Francesi, however you you want to pronounce it, named after a Francis anyway. And then finally that Powelli eye. 